the biggest overarching makeup trend will be natural balanced makeup looks. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Abby and on my channel I share fashion, beauty and lifestyle content. Today I will be sharing 5 makeup ring trends that I will be implementing into my spring makeup routine. And a lot of these trends I would say were great for everyday makeup wear as well as for your special event. And with these trends I will be using a few gifted products that I received from some of these brands and share what I think and how I will be using it to create so let's get into it. So last year we saw a skin first approach to makeup to create a glowing, even tone complexion. So the focus is more so creating that healthy looking skin. I find products that skincare benefits them to create a flawless makeup base. I am going to be using Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Smoothing Serum and the Vitamin Enrich Face Base and the Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. I really like using Bobbi Brown products to create a nice base. Vitamin Enrich Soothing Serum is one of their new products and one of the ingredients is niacinamide which is great for helping with hyperpigmentation and I have a few dark spots I definitely mark easy so I always look for products that fade my dark spots as quickly as possible so I apply this after cleansing and toning I follow up with my vitamin enrich soothing serum I then go in with the enriched eye base and you don't need much of course then I just dab under having a great under eye cream smooth out my under eyes to reduce the chances of creasing see Jenny, previously known as Hylolux I got introduced to the Bobbi Brown enriched face base and after seeing how flawless her base is I started using it I've stacked up on these this is about to be finished and I have one ready to go. If, especially if you have dry skin or combo dry skin, you will definitely like this primer because it also combines as a moisturizer as well. You see my skin is prepped and all ready to go for foundation. So before applying my foundation, I color correct and then I'll do my eyebrows. So I use Bobbi Brown Skin Corrector Thick. The shade that I use is very deep. Because we're going for a more skin based type of look, I am going to go in with Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint. So with this foundation, you get a real skin finish. And with ingredients like hyaluronic acid and shea butter, it helps to soften and condition your skin. And it's definitely a skin glowing, nourishing skin tint. This will be great to add into your routine. That natural looking coverage will definitely be glistening in the sun. So another popular trend for spring makeup is thin full eyebrows. To achieve this look, I will be using the Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel and their Brow Wiz in dark brown. I really like this brow freeze due to the application brush. It has the comb, but it has flat base that you could use to out your brows so that it stays in place. So a natural, sleek and snatched brow is definitely in. Eyebrows are laminated. I go in and just fill in any spaces and she not to make it look perfect but to be more natural. 
And so now that my base is completed, instead of applying the concealer on my skin, what I'll do, I'll apply it to the brush and then place it wherever I want to conceal. So to conceal, I will be using my Lancome Tint Idol, the Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. And the color that I will be using it is 460. I just place it everywhere that I want to conceal. And in order to avoid creasing, I like to apply it on my brush instead of on my skin so I could control the amount of concealer that I apply under my eyes. Another trend we have been seeing is ultra radiant cheeks. To create this look, I will be using Rare Beauty blushes and I am using the Rare Beauty blush in shade Encourage and Grateful. By using a cream blush like this, which is lightweight, it offers color without altering the natural texture of my skin. So I'm able to get a long lasting glow that's never cakey and won't clog my pores. set and then apply my powder. So what I do, I bake with my Sephora Micro Smooth in mahogany. One dab underneath my eyes. And then I go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Honey. Any extra time up in here. smooth from Sephora. That to ensure that I don't crease easily if I'm going to be wearing this outside and for a long time. Now we go in with my NARS and this is Orgasm X and this has a shimmer to it so it's almost like blush and a highlighter in one. Then you go back like a nice shimmer to it on top of where you applied the blush. And for my finishing powder, I go in with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Pressed Powder. And the shade is Golden Brown. So it seems like we will be ditching false lashes for spring. To achieve this trend, I will be using YSL Lash Clash Mascara. And this has actually been my go-to when I'm, I'm not wearing falsies. And when you don't wear falsies, it, it gives you like a more youthful and refreshing look, which fits the ongoing trend of like natural, that 90s to early 2000s trend of everything minimal nothing too fussy which i am so here for so if you really want to lean into a more effortless makeup look i would definitely invest in a volumizing mascara that also gives you that full length to create that easy to achieve look one of the other trends that will be popular for spring will be that soft glam eyeshadow a continuation of the 90s and to create this look i will be using the eyeshadows from mac and it is wedge and two and according to makeup artists the overarching makeup trend will be natural balanced makeup looks so first i will go in with the shade wedge my main goal for my eyeshadow is to keep it neutral and more sultry and to give it a soft contour like they did in the 90s a top 
trend for spring is a throwback lip look and ombre lips will be another trend that will be super popular so you will definitely be seeing more more defined lips darker lips chestnuts burgundy and deep brown to create a gradient effect so my throwback inspired lip look today i will be creating it with all mac products for my liner i will be using teddy plumping gloss stick color stimulation this is like a gloss it does not have to go too high just to avoid it from melting and spilling over so adding a gloss over your ombre lip color combo gives more dimension and enhances your lips natural color and texture and the focus for this glossy lip trend is more of a natural and sheer shade and with this throwback lip it creates a full and defined finish that's the top five spring makeup trends that i'm continue to use in my makeup routine this spring let me know down in the comments what you think of this look and which trend do you want to implement in your routine i'll see you on the next video